Hello, this is Benjamin Rumbach and Johannes Graf, and we'd like to show you how you can change your perspective and use different options to adapt your work view in Mechatronics Concept Designer 12. Let's start off with the perspective. This is our trimetric view. If we choose the isometric view, it's a little different. Then we can choose the top view, the left view, the front view, the right view, the back view, and the bottom view. We usually like to work with a trimetric view. Let's change the displacement of our objects. We're now on the shaded view with edges. We can also use the shaded view without edges to hide the edges. We can also use the wireframe view to highlight the edges. And if we are also interested in the rear edges, we should use the static wireframe view. And we can also choose the wireframe view with dim edges if we want the rear edges to be not so strongly highlighted. Let's see our studio view, like this, and return back to our shaded view with edges. Now let's use our mouse a little more. Scroll forward for zooming out, scroll backward for zooming in. Then we can also press down our scroll wheel and move our object in all different degrees of freedom. We can also lock a axis through choosing the axis and then we can only uh, twist it in, in that um, direction. We can unlock that axis through pressing the origin of the coordinate system. Press down the scroll wheel and the right mouse button to move the object steadily. If we hold down only the right mouse button, a menu appears and we can snap our view to the nearest predefined view. We can also fit our work view to the size of our objects. The last little option we'd like to show is the option Perspective. Through this option, the shape of the object is displayed differently according to its position. As you can see, as I move it right or left, the shape changes. To create a new model, we click New, Model, select the general model template, and then we provide a fitting name and a folder in which it will be saved. In the beginning we select the sketch icon in the top left corner and select the plane of the datum coordinate system in which we want to sketch in, in our case the YZ plane. Then we select the profile tool out of the direct sketch toolbox to create a series of connected lines for our profile. Before we click anything we can type in the starting point manually and confirm by pressing enter. We can also type in the length and the angle of each new line after the starting point is created. After some lines we see some help lines being displayed which intelligently help us to sketch with typical distances or relation to other lines. This functionality also can be switched off if desired. When we have arrived at our starting point, we confirm this and our profile is finished. Press Escape and click the Finish Sketch icon to finish your sketch. Next, we extrude a feature out of our sketch through the Extrude function of the Feature Toolbox. Having selected our sketch as a curve, we expand the Limits menu of the Extrude function and define a distance as a symmetric value. 
Afterwards we twist our body a little and start with a new sketch. For the track of our ramp we create a new sketch on the surface of the inclined plane. Our view switches for that automatically. At the higher edge line we draw a line from the middle to a certain distance towards the side. We do the same at the lower edge line, just with a shorter distance. Afterwards we draw an auxiliary line which is parallel to the edge at the bottom. This we will see is important to be able to cut away everything of the edge. Now we draw a vertical line connecting all the horizontal lines in the middle of our body. Then we draw another line connecting the edges of the two upper lines and expand it to our auxiliary line. We used quick extend for this. Now we use quick trim to delete all the lines we don't need and then we will finish our sketch and be able to create a new feature. Afterwards we select the new sketch and create a new body by rotation. This function is under the extrude function called revolve. We specify the center line as our vector. In the boolean section we select that we want to subtract it from the other body. Here we have our finished marble ramp. We save our model and view it from different perspectives.